Nunapichok means small tundra. We have family clans. I can read too hard. And we have to help each other with food or building houses. We live off the land seasonally. When the fish are running, we do fishing. Berry season, we pick berries. Hunting season, we have big game like moose, caribou, and bear. New Napachuk is a different town because of this tundra, it's mud, it's, it's all sitting on top of permafrost. There's no roads anywhere, and the only place you can get around is on the boardwalk. There's no trucks. It's all four-wheeler transportation and, and bicycles everywhere. The Postal Service is all by hovercraft. And so when you're an Amazon Prime member, you're a little disappointed because it doesn't get here in two days. Now we have a little over 600 people in Nunapichuk, and everybody knows everybody. Moravian missionaries came in 1885, and where they were accepted, they started churches. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Last year, our church collapsed in the evening, and good thing nobody was nearby the church. It just shifted over to the side and, and collapsed and fell down. Our people were concerned they were desperate to get a place to meet. The Moravian Church Convention reached out to Samaritan's Purse, and Samaritan's Purse saw the need for the reconstruction of a church here, and just the type of work that we've been doing in the past in Alaska has been similar to this project here, and so it's a little different. We're actually out on the squish, and so it's uh, soggy, as you can tell, but uh, uh, there was a need here. So Samaritan's Purse is fitting in with helping out on the community, giving them the food that they need spiritually. Samaritan's Purse was donating the time and the money and the effort and the sweat to get this church built. The Lord just kept saying, you need to go to Alaska. So that's why I decided to take vacation time, told customers that we'll be back in a week and a half and we just know that the Lord will provide. The volunteers, they pay their way to get up here. They give their first fruits. I'm here for the sixth time in five years. It gives you great pleasure to know that you're helping create something that's going to be here for a long, long time. The crew we have now, they're banging four-pound hammers for hours and hours and hours getting this triadetic foundation built. And here's the foot of the triadetic, and the foot of the triadetic is to be adjusted throughout the winter because the land will rise and fall through the winter, and we can adjust this nut right here to raise or lower the foundation. So there's a couple things going on. One is the church being built, but then also we're still setting up base camp for the volunteers that are coming in the future. And we're bringing in over a half a million pounds of construction material. All has to be moved with a four-wheeler from down on our barge landing along the river. The city of Nunapitsuk, they had decided to help. They really want the church to be built. The whole town does. The church will be about 50 by 55. It'll end up being, with the Arctic entryway, around 3,100 square feet. We were brought up in our culture to help each other, especially in a time of need. From the bottom of our heart, the whole community, I think I'm representing them when I say thank you. Put this. You know, you, you, you come out here and you walk around in the mud and you walk around in the tundra and you ask yourself why you're here sometimes. And the, the big why in the room, the big why out here is, is for the gospel. You know, we're really not here to build a church, we're really not here to build a play deck or boardwalks. We're here to spread the gospel, and, and through spreading the gospel, we're building a church. <laughs> 